Quote the Hold Steady, everyone's a critic and most people are DJs. I'm not a music expert. Hell, I can't even play an instrument or carry a tune. My name's Craig. I'm just a middle-aged guy in the burbs that likes to listen to good music and talk about it. That's what I try to do here. I hope you enjoy. Highlighted artists for this week, uh, Australia's Ali Barter, Paul Jacobs, drummer from Pottery and his solo project, and last but not least, Alco Pops Snow Coats out of the Netherlands. So we'll start with Ali Barter out of Australia. She's got a beautiful voice, great attitude, um, great sense of humor. Um, she reminds me a bit of like Liz Fair, where she's kind of got that riot girl attitude, uh, but a cheeky sense of humor and then just voice that won't quit. And her songs, while, while they're great, they also jump head on into some real issues uh, with a bit of attitude and, and, a, and a little bit of tongue in cheek and, and just a great cheekiness. I love it. Um, it addresses stuff, you know, titles like You're a Piece of Shit and Backseat. Um, and uh, one of the songs I really like is called Girly Bits, getting into the challenges that women face in the entertainment business. Uh, take a listen to this, watch some of the video. Give us a smile, baby. Act like a real lady. Call us those battle lines, flash us your penny lines. What's a But she can tone it down a little bit as well. Take a listen to a live stream uh, that she did as a series of live streams called Live from Inside during the pandemic. This is a song called January. Hey there, January. Looks like we're alone again. Another year is over. Left the same way it came in. Said that I'd be thinner. Said that we'd be better friends But I'm still on the treadmill Change the channel Play by the rules Look where it got me Stones in my shoes Are cutting my feet all the way Yell me up Never felt quite good enough from inside on Bandcamp. Uh, she didn't release it for vinyl, but uh, that's Allie Barter. She's phenomenal. Next up, let's talk about uh, Paul Jacobs, the uh, drummer from the band Pottery based out of Montreal. So how Paul Jacobs came on my radar is I saw Pottery open for Fontaine CC three times and really liked them. They got a good sound, they're fun guys. Sounds kind of a bit like, uh, like television, a really fun sound. Uh, so when I saw that Paul was coming out with a solo album called Pink Dogs on the Green Grass, I decided to check it out. And I was like, this is really kind of a cool jam. Um, kind of just eccentric all over the place. He's also an artist, does his own cartoon work and things like that. Um, and uh, and just, it's, it's really a good listen. And I especially like the track Half Rich Loner. Take a listen to that. Hanging on 
underneath the ceiling Staring at a photo I'll take a note at the meeting That's Paul Jacobs. Pretty good sound, and he did all the artwork for that video. And, uh, and give the album a listen. Even Pitchfork liked it. And Pitchfork fucking hates everything. Next up is a band out of the Netherlands called Snowcoats. Now, how he discovered them is through this 11-year-old. Let me tell you that story. So the story here is at the beginning of the pandemic, there was a 10-year-old named Arlo that started up a music fanzine, and he interviewed via Zoom a bunch of his favorite artists. So he called it Pint Size Punk, and it came on my radar because he interviewed Carlos from Fontaine CC, and it made it onto the, the social media and stuff. And eventually it actually blew up that he got interviewed by the BBC. And so I've been getting it ever since then, and it's packed full of really good music. They make a playlist, and um, and so there's been a bunch of bands that I hadn't heard of that I discovered through this 10-year-old, which is nuts. Nod to his parents as well. So the latest issue, um, he highlighted this label called Alk Pop, which I'd never heard of, and there was a bunch of bands in here that, that I was like, these guys are really good. Bands called Home Counties, um, Sharam out of Ireland, Cheerbleeders, The Subways, Dream Nails, and the one that really stuck with me is a band out of the Netherlands called Snowcoats. So Snowcoats is a female-fronted four-piece out of the Netherlands. They met in performing arts school. Um, their debut album called Take the Weight Off Your Shoulders came out in 2018. And I like the sound. It's got a bit of a Lumineers, Mount Joy-esque kind of sound to it. Uh, and then they followed up in 2020 with an EP called Pool Girl. Um, and take a listen to Navy Blue from that. kind of a light sunny sound kind of reminds me of like the Mowgli's or a little older like uh, the Boo Radley's so uh, check them out and supposedly they're coming out with new music soon so just to wrap up that's Ali Barter Paul Jacobs and Sokoats stay safe and be well you can listen to this music on Spotify by clicking the link in the description mm -hmm.